Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be looking at the market cycle ROI. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. Again, I am traveling. Uh, I'm recording a lot of these videos that you're seeing on Thursday, uh, July 3rd. So, I don't know when this video is going to be released, but... Um, my apologies for, for not being here. If something crazy is going on, going on in the market and you're like, why, you know, why the hell has been not talking about this? It's because I just don't have the ability to record videos at, the current, at that time. Um, but as of now, the ROI of Bitcoin from the low is nearly seven. Uh, and unfortunately, as always is the case, we are still seeing diminishing returns. Things could theoretically change, but I don't expect them to. Every cycle, it seems like people say we're not going to have diminishing returns and then we do. Okay. So one thing to consider, though, is that at this point, last cycle, uh, Bitcoin was up about 14 to 15 X. Cycle before that, at this point, Bitcoin was up about 24 X. So you can see that even as a function of time right now, Bitcoin is experiencing diminishing returns. Now, every cycle, there can be periods where it goes above the prior cycle. But you can see that as the cycle goes on, eventually, they all sort of even out. So then what ends up happening is you have um, cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, cycle four, cycle five. Now, cycle three and four ended around the same time when measured from the low. Cycle four ended on about day 1059. Cycle three ended about day 1067, as measured from the low. We are currently on day 968. So that would still be about three to four months away, which would put us in Q4, which, of course, that's when Bitcoin normally peaks in Q4 of the post having year. Obviously, things could be different each cycle. It's hard to know. You might say, well, what was going on in cycle one and cycle two? There's actually a pretty valid argument here that you could combine cycle one and cycle two into a single cycle um, if you wanted to. Uh, we actually even have that ability right here. We can combine the two. And if you do that, you can see it actually went a little bit further out. Um, but it, it, it's kind of an interesting observation just how similar these cycles have been. And by the end of the cycle, two cycles ago, Bitcoin was up about 100x, a little more than 100x. Last cycle, it went up about 20x, so about one-fifth, right about one-fifth. Um, so far this cycle, Bitcoin is up about 7x, which is more than, than one-fifth, right? One-fifth would have been a lot lower uh, than the current price. Um, so, so far, you know, we, we are still seeing diminishing returns. We'll see if that changes, but keep an eye on this chart as the months sort of, the, as the calendar months kind of fade away. And uh, I say, I would say, don't forget about this chart by the end of this year. It could come, uh, quite in handy, uh, by that point. And you can even map this out to the bottom and see kind of how, how the cycles after those peaks, they then had these midterm year bear markets. So I'm still in that camp for now. I'm going to assume that if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, but that's still a little ways away. Just something to keep in mind, uh, you know, going into 2026. We'll see what the rest of the year has in store. But I always sort of keep that in mind for, for next year. Um, and if anything, if it does play out, it should just be an opportunity for those that want to accumulate. Um, uh, about every four years, there's a ma major market cycle bottom, and then you just start a new cycle. But here's the market cycle ROI chart. Hopefully, you know, you've enjoyed this video. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to also show it uh, from the uh, from the November top. Um, I guess it's, it's, it'd be better to show it, actually. Um, if You'd actually sort of go out to the peak, I guess. Um, so if you go out to the peak to peak from November. So if you if you take out cycle three um, all the way out to November, it looks like that. If you just take it out to April, it obviously got cut off a lot sooner. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and again, check out the sale on ITC Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.